Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of the VoIP guys. Uh, you probably will notice that behind us we've got a bit of a Cluedo look going on. Um, we're in a new studio. Yes. And we're the first people, well, you used it for webinars, but it's the first yeah. tutorial, Asterisk tutorial um, and Pascom Brothers tutorial. That's true. A new desk. Yeah. Solid. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and what we're going to do today is, well, we're going to hope that you can hear all the sounds that, uh, from uh, ringing and everything, because the speakers aren't actually set up just yet. Mm -hmm. It's that new. And the acoustic is not finished, so maybe it's it, not that good. Yeah, maybe a bit echoey, but we're here for you anyway. So um, we're going to plow on, which means it's time to take a look at the advanced IVR configurations. So Matthias, what do we need to do? Um, last time we did a simple IVR, yep. just press one for blah and two for I don't know. Um, yeah, it was for... I, I forgot it. Fruit and vegetable. Something. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we had some problems with it. Um, yeah. If you pressed something, mm -hmm. then it just breaks. Yeah. If you just wait too long, mm -hmm. then it also breaks. Mm -hmm. So it's not very good. We have right. to enhance it okay. and have to do some error handling that it's re uh, 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 usable in real life. Okay. So, take it away. Yes. Cool. What we did last time is we have a very simple IVR menu. Um, answer, playback, uh, an IVR, which says one for, I think, mm, fruit, bananas. bananas. Yeah, I have no idea. Cannot remember. It's yeah. Too long away. Yeah, it was, yeah. So, then we wait um, for an extension, which is pressed for five seconds. If somebody presses one, we go to the queue test. Mm -hmm. If somebody presses two, we go to blah. But what happens if somebody presses, presses. three uh -huh. or four or just waits longer than five seconds? We can test that. Yeah. We call it, I forgot the number of the IVR. I think it was, I don't know, 800. Yeah. And to do so, for sure, we go to the asterisk CLI. We call not that way, more verbosity level. 800. Hello, welcome to Joe Blog's Fruit and Veg. Now we can uh, see the playback. Mm -hmm. And now he waits that I press something. I press 3. And now you can see what happens. Invalid extension. E or E in context blah 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 is missing. Uh, That's something we have to explain. This okay. is the default asterisk behavior. Right. So if an error occurs, he wants to use the E or E for invalid or error extension. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's um, a normal behavior of asterisk. He right. just searches in mm -hmm. kind of an error yeah. um, for the E or I yeah. <laughs> invalid or error, I think. Uh, yes, that's that's uh, that's true. That's yeah. my my good English, but <laughs> everybody will understand because you can read it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. No, no, it does not matter. So this is the default behavior of asterisk. If mm -hmm. something goes wrong, an error, then this um, appears. And if you do not catch that error, then mm -hmm. the hang the, the channel is just hung up. Right. Okay. And that actually that's the call, and that's sad. Yeah, that wouldn't be very good for a, a proper in productive system IVR. Yeah, that's true. But on the other hand, he has to read that now, mm -hmm. and he learns then that the three is not a valid option. <laughs> yeah, so you, you make your caller smarter. <laughs> yes. No, we try to avoid that. Right. Let's see how we can do that. So we just add a new extension, which is E. We do not have to. Or I, we can decide. Not does not matter. Do it like this. We do not to have uh, to define both. One is enough, um, and then we say no op, so we can see the debug logs, and we say error or invalid. Mm -hmm. Same. Next. Um, next, we do. What could we do? We could do another playback. Mm -hmm. That would be the logical choice. I think, though, um, we can say the menu again. Yeah. Um, so we could do another playback of the same menu, mm -hmm. but we could also do a new playback. Maybe you press the wrong key, because yeah. otherwise so the person does not know why the mm, menu We could have a prompt key. saying, oh, something went wrong there, mm -hmm. please try again. Yeah. yeah, we don't have such a prompt, but we just simulate it. Mm -hmm. Wrong key. 
something like this. Yeah. And then we just jump back with the go to command to S1. So we say wrong key and then we jump back again here. Mm -hmm. Answer the channel log again, okay, it is already answered, but it yeah. does not matter. Mm -hmm. um, then we do the playback again and then we say again, please press one, please press two, Come. and so on and so on. And we try it out and see what happens. No. Dial plan reload. I almost forget it. Forget everything. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. Yeah, it was very long. <laughs> okay, again. I just call 800. Hello, welcome to Joe. Now we wait the until the IVR. Fruit and two for veg. Now I press three. Hello, welcome to Joe Blog's fruit and veg. Press one for fruit and two and for veg. And now um, we have the no operation invalid. Mm -hmm. Wrong key. He cannot find that message yeah. now because we, we don't have such a message. It goes back to S1, uh -huh. to the IVR, reads the IVR again, waits again for five seconds. And now we run into the next trouble uh -huh. because we waited too long. Right, okay. So now he searches for T or E. So we could just use I, I, E. No, that one's an E. <laughs> <That's> an e. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, we could use E for both, mm -hmm. and we would have a timeout and an, and an error event. Mm -hmm. um, but if you use I and T, mm -hmm. then we can do some different things uh, that's for quite, the two cases. That could be quite good for making it more advanced. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we use the T. Again. No op timeout. Same. And now I would do something like, or we can discuss when to use the timeout and what mm -hmm. to do. Um, what you could do is in your IVR menu, you yep. could say press one for blah, press two for bloop, mm -hmm. or just wait and you will be connected to the switchboard. Uh -huh, yeah, something. a lot of IVRs do that. Yes, mm -hmm. um, something like this. And that's what you could do in timeout situation. Yeah. So just read it once. Mm -hmm. If it does not select something, then yeah. repeat it once, mm -hmm. maybe, and then... Or you just throw it directly onto a queue that you may have uh, set up for whatever purposes, sales or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I would suggest to use always um, the two different situations, the two different cases yep. with the two different extensions because it really makes sense ah. to do something different in timeout situation yeah. or in mm -hmm. a case somebody um, presses a key which is not defined. Right, okay. So mm -hmm. we go ahead and do this. We just say N and then we say go to or we say Q and then we go to the test Q the same as if he presses one. Uh -huh. So yeah. um, the next issue is maybe uh, in some cases DTMF is not working yeah. because somebody mm -hmm. has a phone or a provider where it does not work. Right. And okay. then we should have a possibility to enter the IVR menu somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and get to speak to a and real get, human yeah, being. Because otherwise he has no chance to speak yeah. to anyone. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. that's it. Now we try it again. Now we should, uh, we should cover all situations which can go wrong. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> 800 again. Hello, welcome to Joe Blogs. So veg. first one we just two for veg. wait until it's played, mm -hmm. then we say five. Hello, welcome to Joe You have to hear it again. Mm -hmm. And then we for wait for the timeout. Okay. And then you can see now he would just jump to the queue, yeah. which is test, and for sure our test queue does not exist. Yeah. Okay. So nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But I think um, this explains the basics. 
Yeah. And this explains the error handling and what you can do in the different situations. The basics of the advanced configurations. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for today's episode. Uh, what do we do next time? We will enhance the IVR again. Okay. Advanced, advanced. Advanced, advanced, advanced IVR take IVR. three. Okay, perfect. Yes. There you have it. Um, but I think that's the last time then. Okay, and then we'll move on to something else. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so that's about it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time. See you. Cheers.